Boise State's Kurt Felix came into the final three events in the Men's Indoor Heptathlon National Championship in second place. Day two is historically not his strongest, but few could have predicted what happened today. Following a 13th place finish in the 60 meter hurdles, Felix took three straight attempts at the lowest pole vault height and scratched three times in a row. No height, no points. Boise State told me today is the first time he'd ever done that in a heptathlon, and that left him with a decision to run the final event or not. He would have been a second team All-American had he ran any thousand meters, but the ankle that was bugging him all day yesterday was swelling up, and Felix elected to pull out of the event. There is a lot of pressure, you know, and I try to not let it get a bit better off me, but coming in today, my ankles was really sore. Try to get by in the hurdles, and when I went to the pole vault, it just didn't happen. And it's okay, I still got outdoors, and I always take some positive out of every competition. Ultimately, it would not have mattered. Curtis Beach of Duke shattered a world record in the 1,000-meter heptathlon today, beating it by almost four seconds. He won the title in the process. Felix said he'll take most of the week off before starting his outdoor season prep and his favorite event, which is the javelin. Now, Idaho had two competitors at the National Indoor Track and Field Championships in Nampa as well. Pole vaulter Jeremy Kloss finished 11th yesterday. Today, Hannah Kaiser running in the finals of the women's 3,000 meters she is in all black and in the back of the pack, running in last for over half the race, but did pick up some steam towards the end. She finishes 13th of 16 runners. She told me afterwards she had hoped for a top eight finish, but the competitive field was just too much. Kaiser's teammate, as I said, 11th in the pole vault. Boise State also had two competitors. Felix, 9th in the long jump. Meili Basima, 6th in the weight throw. Some other notables. Florida football player Jeff Demps won the 60-meter dash for the third straight year. One world record I mentioned, Duke's Curtis Beach in the 1,000-meter heptathlon. All in all, 36 new facility records were set in the last two days. Over half of the 46 events have new marks to beat inside the Jackson's track.